Remove the jobs. Break the schools. Pull back the police. Let the streets flood with drugs. Let violent gangs recruit child soldiers and terrorize neighborhoods. Don't prosecute gun crimes. And when the media looks you in the eye after another bloody weekend in a major American city, call for more gun control. If our politicians are truly using the carnage they refuse to stop to attack the rights of honest, hardworking Americans caught in living hell, then they are guilty of the most despicable form of racism imaginable. What has been allowed to happen in our inner cities is an absolute disgrace. If the same epidemic of poverty, gang violence, and broken schools poison the neighborhoods of the nation's political class, you better believe they'd be talking about real solutions, not gun control. I'm the National Rifle Association of America, and I'm freedom's safest place. Dr. Paul Tevye, today, as you may know, we do not nitpick here Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump. We don't do that to them. For example, when the father of the Orlando terrorists attended a Hillary Clinton rally in Florida, we didn't think that had any meaning at all. And when Donald Trump said that Barack Obama created ISIS, we knew exactly what he was talking about, the failed U.S. policy in Iraq. So we basically ignored both stories. However, there are two situations that remain undefined, both in the Clinton camp we want to talk about tonight. The Clinton Foundation situation and the FBI giving Clinton email documents to a House Oversight Committee. And now with the latest Fox News Chief Intelligence Correspondent, Catherine Harris. Let's take the Clinton Foundation story first. Anything new? Well, Bill, I spoke with uh, three different contacts today to prep for the show, two law enforcement and one congressional. And what I know is that the email investigation has been put to bed. The Clinton Foundation is ongoing. It's not moving quickly for two reasons. One is that it's very complex, and if you're going to do this, you want the whole pie, not just a slice. And there's no real um, full-throated uh, support for it at the Justice Department. And then there's this third piece, this uh, perjury case, these allegations that Hillary Clinton lied to Congress during her testimony in 2015 uh, about her email practices and that. Uh, frankly, is a very hard case uh, to make because you've got to get inside her head, and they were not able to do that uh, with the email case. Is that what they turned over to the House Oversight Committee? They they turned over her testimony to the FBI to the committee. Is that what that was about? That's a great question. What they turned over was the FBI's investigative file. So the summary of Hillary Clinton's interview, which is known uh, within the FBI as a 302, the FBI does not record interviews. They base summaries on the agent's notes. Congress was also given backup notes, uh, as well as the 110 emails that were classified at the time that she sent and received them on her server. The key thing, Bill, is that many of these documents are heavily redacted or blacked out at the request of the CIA. So they remain highly classified to this day. And even the chairman of the House Government Oversight Committee, Jason Chaffetz, doesn't even have the security clearance to read these documents in full. So this really undercuts the Clinton campaign's position that there's really nothing to see here and that the information was not yeah. sensitive or classified. All right, now back to the foundation. So you're basically saying, uh, and your sources uh, are telling you, that Attorney General Lynch really didn't have any interest in the foundation, sorry. That would be uh, the right way to put it, uh, more you or know, less. I'm disappointed <laughs> in her. Um, I am. I thought that when she was appointed Attorney General that she would pursue um, justice. I, I don't have any axe to grind on the Clinton Foundation, but you know, if you look at all of the people who uh, had access to Secretary of State Clinton, and then all of the money they did give the right. foundation, mm -hmm. certainly that needs to be clarified. And, and Attorney General Lynch should be up front and saying we need to clarify. Exactly. That. This is a great point. You know, the the FBI's number one priority on their website is public corruption. <laughs> I mean, this is not something that you can just do a no, drive-by on. it's at the highest sure. level. It's yeah. at the highest mm -hmm. level. And it's, That's right. you know, if you look at it and, and you look at the, the number, sheer number of people who had given to the Clinton Foundation who then got access to Hillary Clinton in some way, shape, or form. Right. I mean, it, it really know that, it has I know. to. I agree. I agree. Yeah. But, you know, the threshold uh, is very high. Yeah, it's a, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying yeah. there's any crime. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying yeah. I want to know as an American what the Absolutely. hell happened there. Yeah, All right, Captain. We appreciate your reporting. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Miller on deck. He's got a quibble with me going to Cuba. Uh-oh. The D-Man is next.